Hi, and thank you for tuning in to the Daily Dose for Spiritual Growth. Well, we have made it to the end, not only the end of this week, but also to the end of the book of Proverbs. Um, each day, we've been encouraging you to read a chapter, and today we are on the final chapter of the book, Proverbs 31. Um, this chapter, maybe you've heard maybe you've heard before, are you a Proverbs 31 woman? You probably haven't heard that if you're a man, but maybe you said it to someone. Maybe you heard it in church because in this chapter, there's a description of what a godly woman looks like. However, I am not going to do the expected scriptures. I actually want to do a scripture from before that. That begins, let me see, that begins in, it's a wife of noble character begins in verse 10. So I encourage you to read that if you are a woman, a wife, want to be one one day. If you're a man and hope to have one one day, I encourage you to read that if you're raising daughters. Great stuff in there. Um, but I actually want to read to you from verses 8 and 9. Okay. It says this in Proverbs 31, verse 8. Speak up for those who cannot speak for themselves. Ensure justice for those being crushed. Yes, speak up for the poor and helpless and see that they get justice. This is really beautiful. Um, it's challenging verses for all of us. And I think there are definitely different giftings. And I want to recognize that. When you think of the spiritual gifts, there is one specifically called mercy, a gift of mercy. And it's it's speaking of those that their hearts are catered to this very ideology, this very sense of God, um, this compassionate, long-suffering with others, um, those that have a heart for justice, those that have a heart with compassion ministries. And so those are some of you, and some of you watching today have such a heart bent towards that. Like that is what gets you going. That's what gets you feeling fulfilled. That, that's your purpose because it's a spiritual gift most likely that God has put inside of you. And you are passionate about compassion ministry, um, helping those that are helpless, feeling the needs of those who are needy. Awesome. However, regardless if that's a specific spiritual gifting that you do or do not possess, as believers, we are all called to help those that are needy. There are scriptures throughout the Bible, cover to cover, that talk about helping those that need help. And this is one such scripture. Let me read it to you one more time. Verses 8 and 9. Speak up for those who cannot speak for themselves. Ensure justice for those being crushed. Yes, speak up for the poor and helpless and see that they get justice. How do you do that in your everyday life? Who in your life, in your sphere of influence, doesn't seem to have a voice or capability to speak up for themselves, to protect themselves, to supply for themselves, to, to get what they need? Maybe they're being taken advantage of. Maybe they're being abused. Maybe they're being talked down to. Okay. Now, some obvious, both ends of the spectrum, kids, minors, little ones, if you're a parent, that is a full-time job. You need to speak up and to be that protector, that helper to someone who's not able to care for themselves. Also, the end, other end of the spectrum, if you have someone who's elderly or with severe health issues and those needs, this also is talking about widows, orphans. Those are in needs because of loss. Um, those that are poor, um, that are dealing with financial or physical needs. There's so many things that could fall into this category. Um, I remember a story that my mom told me that when she was a teenager in school, she really had a sense of justice. And I think I have that sense of justice in me too, that right and wrong. I have like this conviction of doing what's right and standing up for what's right. And um, I remember her sharing a story with me of there was a, a student in her class when she was in high school that had special needs. And um, I know that there's so many different terms for that today. And I'm sorry, I'm not up on what the most current one is. So I don't mean to offend anyone, but Hopefully you understand what I mean by they had some special needs in the classroom and blatantly stood out by how they spoke and how they acted in class. Um, it was evident to the other students that there was something different about them. And I think in our world today, we have much more um, protocols, resources, education on that. But my mom's age several generations ago, there wasn't. And so this student was in the school and my mom was walking down the hall one day and she noticed a group of students laughing in a corner and kind of looking and pointing at someone. And it was this particular student. And the student was facing my mom and walking down the hallway. They were behind the student and looking and laughing. And as the student passed her, she turned around and looked. And someone had taped a sign to the back of the student's back that said, kick me. 
Now, I don't even know if that's like a current thing people do. Back in the day, those of you that are well, young that are watching, there's much more mean ways to to um, harass people today, social media and what people are so nasty. But back then, that was a big deal. They had taped a physical piece of paper on the back of this student that said, kick me. And my mom described, she was a very soft-spoken, um, sweet girl. And yet something she says rose up inside of her. And she got like so angry over the injustice of them making fun of someone who couldn't speak up for themselves, who didn't even know what was going on and how they were the butt of a joke. And she says she went over and grabbed the paper off of their back, crumpled it up, walked over to this group that was like whispering, threw it on the ground and was like, never do that again, and then stomped away. And she, I think she got around the corner and she's like, what did I just do? You know what I mean? Like the adrenaline had taken over. I think it's important, number one, that we have awareness. Let's be honest. We can get so distracted in our everyday life that we don't even notice another person because we're so fixated on ourselves. We as believers need to always be outwardly focused. Who around us needs our help? emotionally, spiritually, physically, just even standing up for them. Let's be looking for those opportunities and let's be praying that God would give us wisdom, courage, boldness, that when we see an injustice, when we see someone in need, when we see someone who can't speak up for themselves, that we would have the courage, wisdom, and insight to do the right thing. We need to stand up for what's right. And we need to stand up for those that aren't able to stand up for themselves. I want to thank you so much for tuning in to the Daily Doses over the last few weeks as we've covered the book of Proverbs. Really enjoyed that time with you. We'll be starting something new on Monday. But also, I just want to say, if you are in the Shrewsbury area in Southern New York County, today at Shrewsbury Assembly, we are having our Fall Fest from 4 to 7 p.m. It's going to be an awesome time of outdoor fun with inflatables and food and ninja course and all sorts of cool stuff. Hey, rides. So come on out from 4 to 7. We would love to have you. Otherwise, join us at church tomorrow at Shrewsbury Assembly. Pastor will be speaking. And then otherwise, we'll see you again on Monday for another Daily Dose for Spiritual Growth.